We are playing illegal gambling. Cold pizza Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for that new way. I think I like it how it is. Cold pizza on a Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for a new wave. I think I like it how it is. Saturday and I've spent most of the morning playing with all of those new pens that I got yesterday um, They are so cool. Oh my god So these are water-based acrylic pens Which means they're like paint pens and what you have to do to get them activated is press down Really hard not really hard But you have to press down on the tip a few times until you get a drop of paint that shows up in the nib And by the way, I figured out what those extra thingies were from yesterday that we couldn't figure out They were extra nibs in case they get clogged with paint because you can blend with these since they're paint You can blend with them and sometimes the colors will get mixed up and um, You know it paint gets clogged whatever um, so anyway, I tested these and they are Gorgeous. They are so fun to write with and to color with. Oh my god. Once you start writing with them They're so smooth and they don't skip and it just it has this finished image of like It's almost like you printed it out on a printer or like you purchased a print from an artist. It doesn't look like you Drew it like it looks printed. I don't know how to describe it, but it's so pretty It's just a really like smooth flat creamy finish Ugh. I also played with the washi tape. They also write on dark colored paper, so you can write, you can full on write on black paper, you can write over black ink, you can, they're, they're paint pens, so they just show up in their beautiful colorful self over black. Another thing that's cool is that Archer and Olive sells black, blackout um, notebooks where all of the pages are black, and so you could fully just like write your whole journal with these pens. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that. I have a system in place. And then I had to check out what Archer and Olive notebooks they sent. Oh my god. I'm already excited for the next notebook I'm gonna move on to. So this one, ugh, with the cat and the moon, and the pages are holographic, and, and the cat. In the moon? I want all of it. Also, this is the first Archer and Olive notebook that I've had that's like a leather cover, like a, like it feels like leather. I don't know if it's real leather, but it's like a, it's a hard cover. Most of the ones that I've bought so far are canvas, which is cool. I really like the canvas, but it's a magnet for cat hair. So I'm interested to see how the leather does. They also sent this one, which is their regular canvas with the regular white pages, no shiny. No shiny shine. I'm very excited. I spent like the whole morning just playing with pens. Is it not? I'm sorry. Is it not a party channel? Did you not subscribe to a party channel? It's a party all day, every day. I gotta get back to the party. I gotta clean the house because we have a guest coming over today. A guest! Guess who it is. Pause the video and guess who it is. And no cheating. Thank you. It's a party. Let's go clean. Good morning. I forgot to vlog yesterday because we just got into some very good conversation, but it was just Caldwell, in case you were guessing. Did you guess? Today, this morning, we have our Patreon live stream, and this is another top that came in from that um, curtsy app, the like secondhand app, and it's also an anthropology top that I would never pay full price for. I think it was originally like $80, and right, Tom? Yeah, right? It was originally like $80 and I got it for like $19. Score. I also feel like, you know, the thing I didn't like about thrift thrift store clothes is like when it smells like 
old or like used, you know, or like if there was a smoker involved, but this top kind of smells like incense and it makes me feel like I know the person that wore it before me. And I feel like she owned like a French boutique and she just like made little, like she made like her own pottery and she like sold it, but she had like other like really exquisite items, luxurious items and she owned a little shop. But then the pandemic made her like not be able to keep her shop open. So she had to like sell her clothes, but like, you know, it makes me feel like I own that boutique now. Also, this is completely made up. Like I have no idea what the person was like, but it smells like this little hint of incense that smells like French. You should write the world's most annoying book about it. I will, you know yeah, what? You, you know what, I will. Yeah. Good, good. I will. Good. 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 good, good, good. If I wrote the world's most annoying book, it would just be Steve Green, Steve Green, Steve Green, like for Wait, don't say that. Yeah, I would, hey, that's don't what say those kinds of things, that's what you mean. And probably wouldn't sell. Oh, I don't say that, it would probably sell yeah, pretty well, actually. Probably, no. and I'm so hungry and Postmates says it's gonna take 50 to 70 minutes to get here. Absurd. So we're drinking wine even though everything tastes like a rubber glove to me, like the wine tastes like a rubber glove and it's very hard to drink, but I want it so that I can forget how hungry I am because all I've been able to eat is bread and butter since that's the only thing that doesn't taste like a rubber glove. You have to forget them, it is the Christmas season obviously and that's... Yes, of course, yeah. Yeah. Very, a lot of families. Very hurried. Follow a lot of carolers. Exactly. Um, yeah, and so then we were going to, I was like, well, let's play a game while we wait, right? And you were insistent. We didn't, we were like, okay, well, let's play Mario Party, but then the controllers are not charged. Correct. So we're down to the basics. We have two decks of cards. It's like the power's going out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have two decks of cards. And I counted the first deck and it's missing one card. It's missing the three of diamonds. Why? We don't know. So I have this other deck of cards and hopefully it has a full set. I'm going to teach Steve how to play poker because sometimes we've played poker with people and he doesn't really know how to play and it's kind of I don't know what the fuck's going on. He doesn't know what's going but on. But my poker face is so strong yeah. that people actually legit think I know what the fuck's going on. Which can hold you over for a little bit. Hold on. I can't win you a tournament. No, but... I came in second that one time, mm. and yeah, so there you go. Okay, this and I literally didn't even know if I won the hand when I when I when I came in second. That's hilarious. Yeah, and then they were like, "Yeah, you won." And I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you didn't even know you won. You were just ready to like be. A I person. if they told me like I lost with the with you like no. two twos, you I'd have been, been like, like oh, "Yeah, okay. that makes sense." Twos are a really small number, dude. I <laughs> fucked up. I fucked up big time. No clue. Yeah. Is this a complete deck? Yeah, it is. Oh, good job. Yeah. So, I don't want to bore right. you guys and like teach you poker too because like some of you probably already know and then... I don't think everyone knows how to play poker. Well then for those of them that don't know, like it's going to be a long, that's a really long video. But if you want me to do a video on it, let me know in the comments and then I will actually dedicate a video to you. There you go. It'll be like a little poker tutorial and then you can join me on a poker app where we can play each other and I can take all your fake money. That's what you've been doing. You've been cleaning people's fake money out. I've been cleaning people millions of dollars. And taking their fake houses. And, yes. And their pink slips. And their fake cars. And yep, pretty cool. Yeah. I actually won a tournament ring the other day, so it's like I could wear my ring at the table now. That's pretty sick, dude. Pretty cool. That's pretty sick. People. Are, do you, are people like, oh shit? Yeah. Are they actually? No. Oh, okay. I can't really chat. Okay. But like, it's cool because... Most people don't have one. I see. So it does feel very. And scary. then you see another one. You're like, hey. hey. Yeah, hey yeah. Yeah. Or I see one that's like a higher rank, and I'm like, oh fuck. I see. Yeah. Somebody got like six rings on. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. I we got some quarters. We don't have poker chips. I would love to have a poker set, maybe for um, our anniversary or like. Nah. Third. Okay, we gotta go. Okay. Bye. Your birthday. <laughs> You know, my birthday just passed this Christmas. So. Yeah, we're good. So these are the hand rankings, mm -hmm. and I tried to put them in order. I don't have all of them, but okay. these are just try your best to kind of remember this. Okay. And if you need to, you can pull up a cheat sheet on your phone yeah, that you just look, look up poker are. hand rankings. Yeah. Okay, so first, at the very bottom, we got high card. That's if, like, nobody has jack shit, but you have the highest card. And that always means win to me. Hmm? Always. If I get an ace, I think I'm going to win. Yeah, yeah, a lot of noobs do. Always. 
A lot of noobs will go all in if they have an ace so or right. some Many times. something. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the next highest ranking is a pair. So you might have an ace, but if someone else has a pair of nines, they're gonna beat your ace. I see. Yeah, and it's pretty easy to get Shouldn't a pair. Shouldn't be like that, but I get it. It's pretty easy to get a pair. It's even easier to get a high card, so that's why it's like that. It's like based off of how easy it is to get I, these. I understand. The next highest ranking is two pairs. So if you have, if you see on the board there's a ten and a nine, and mm. your hand is a ten and a nine, yeah. that's two pairs. If you have a pair of nine in your hand, and then you see a pair on the board, that's two pairs. All in. That's what I do with that. Uh, you could, depending on. So I'll get to strategy in a second. Or I go. That means and I let them check. That not think check. that I have a great hand. That's a pretty good strategy. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then next hand, I go all in. Now, let me tell you when that's a good strategy because yeah. it's actually not that much of a bit because it's it's you could do that and it's a good strategy. So then you got three of a kind. Then you have a straight. This is pretty hard to get because it requires that you have five cards all in a row. And it has to go all in, it has to be five cards, not yep. just, if you have 10 jack, queen, king, you don't have a straight. Yep. But if you have all five cards, then you have a straight and the ace can count as a one as well. So it could go ace, two, three, four, five. Wait, so, explain that. So it can go ace, two, three, four, five, like this. Oh, I see, okay. So an ace can count as a one or it can count as above a king. Word. You know what I'm saying? Word. Um, also, it's, it's important to know this because other people could be having this yes. this hand. Yes. So it's important to know hand strength because it's like you might have two pairs, but look at the board. If it goes jack, queen, king, ace, what are the odds someone has a 10 in their hand? Is that the royal straight flush? No. Oh, shit. Okay. Then comes a flush. This is like any cards, any five cards, but they all have to be the same suit. Okay, all clubs. That's much harder. It doesn't have to be clubs. It could be any suit, but it has but to be the same suit. we like clubs the best. That's what we do. I don't. Okay. Um, then we have a full house, which is where you have a three of a kind and a pair. Whoa. That requires all all five cards as well. Then we have a four of a kind, which is... I don't remember all this shit. This is crazy. This is like fucking... You send me the grocery store and what I'm the, like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Once I you, once you play enough, okay, honestly, I always forget uh, the order of the straight, the flush, and the full house. These three I get mixed up all the time. Wow, you're human then. Yeah. Oh my god, all this shit put together? Forget about it. But once you do it enough, um, you could have ways of remembering. Like sometimes I remember, okay, like three of a kind is pretty hard to get. So if I get a, fl a full house, that's like, that should be higher than a straight or a flush. Okay. I don't know, but a flush is really hard to get too, so I don't know, it's hard. Um, I also feel like I've gotten a full house way more than these two, so I don't know, it's weird. That one means winner every time for me. If I get four of a kind? Four of a, yeah, it should. Winner. Four of a kind is a really rare hand. Yep. That's super, super rare. You should go all in if you have a four of, four Thank of a you. kind. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Good instincts, is that what you're saying? Then we got a f straight flush. So not only are they all the same suit, and they're in order. Mm. This one's super, super rare. Same I've barely anime. ever seen anyone that get is this. Crazy. Um, and then, lastly, which I don't have on the table because I used up all my cards, is a royal flush. The greatest of all. Yeah, and which is which all. is a straight. It's all, but it's also in the same suit, and it has to be the face cards. Ooh, I want to see it. Can you put it together real quick? Yeah, hold on. Okay, it. so there's a royal flush. You got ten jack, queen, king, ace, all in the same suit. Okay. All in a row. I can feel it. I've never can gotten you, that. Can you feel its energy? I can feel yes, it. Yes, it's pretty royal. That's incredible. I also picked hearts because I think that that's the most royal of all the that suits. Is, I agree with that. So I watched, so because you got into poker recently, mm -hmm. I've been watching poker videos to keep up with you as usual, but I'm way behind. Uh -huh. And uh, I was watching one of those celebrity poker things or whatever. Yeah. And there's a cat who had a royal straight flush and nobody had ever seen that before. Yeah, I've and never seen all that. All the announcers were like, holy fucking shit. Like, I, I, oh my god, like, I'm gonna tell my kids I saw this one like, when, when I, before I die, like, shit like that. Because they had, they had, and they do this shit for a living. Yeah. Crazy. What's, what's so fucking frustrating, so this is what the hard part is, is that, like, if you almost have a royal flush, uh, and then, like, on the table, it's like, you almost have it. You're like, missing the 10. But then someone else, like, bets a bunch because they have, like, a four of a kind, or, or I guess that wouldn't happen. But they have, like, a straight or something else. They bet a bunch. 
it's like, do you wait to see if you might have a royal flush or, or do you do fold? Because the chances of <coughs> you getting it is so slim. That so crazy. It's so hard. Now that you know the strengths. I'm ready to begin. Um, the thing that I like to do, like when I said I would go all in on a two pair or whatever, is if you get to like the last card and no one's really been doing shit, mm -hmm. I'll like kind of gauge off of one, whether that's the type of person that goes all in every hand, yeah. two, if no one's really been acting like they have anything and then all being of a sudden, Charles, yeah, being like, I'm a check in Charles. You're a check in Charles? Yeah. Mm -mm, don't like that. I like it. Doesn't, you don't have good bluff game. That's true. I don't like to bluff you that like much. Bluff? I mean, that's like, um, excuse you. That's a secret. But I really don't like to bluff, but I will. I will yeah. occasionally. And I, in the times that I have, they've been very effective because people don't think I bluff. Mm. So when I do on occasion, they're like, oh shit, she does have something right. because she never bluffs. That's really good strategy. Well, pretty good, right? Good poker strategy. Let's move on to the way that the game is played, okay? okay. Um, I said I wasn't gonna do a video on this, so. Yeah, as soon as you're still Let me know. It. I'm still on it. Until they request this is, it. This they the have video. to request it. This is not the video. First. This isn't you uh, sharing your passion. No, 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 not at all. They ha it has to be by demand. It has to be by demand, by demand. only. And okay, my okay. student. Hello. Let's see how well you do now. Teacher. Hello, my student. You haven't been paying very much attention. No, so he hasn't. You're going to sit this hand out. You're going to be the dealer. I'll be big blind. Yeah. You be little blind. Yeah. Put one quarter in. Okay. We are playing illegal gambling. Correct. Do you want to call or do you want to fold? Um, or do you want to raise? I, I, uh, I would like to call. Confidently. Okay, okay great. I confidently call. Cool, so put a quarter in. Tom Collins, making Tommy. sure he's making sure the money's in. He's learning the most. Look okay, at him. here we go. Okay. I'm gonna raise. You're gonna raise? Straight up. Wow. How, how much do I gotta raise by? Just, can I do 25 cents? Yeah, you can do 25 cents, sure. Normally, I think you have to that, raise by the big blind, but, that's what I figured, but yeah. it's okay. But I'm a small. I was a small boy. Um, I'm gonna fold. Oh no! Oh no! What? You don't want me to fold? No. Well, yeah. <laughs> you won. Okay, cool. I won. That's good. It's positive. You won the pot. Look at that pot. I know, but I like to win big. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have? So I had a, I had a six six of hearts and a ten. Six and a ten, and what's down here? So Excuse me. So I had, oh, so you had a pair of sixes. That's it. I had a seven and a ten. So no I, shit. No, so but it I could. Win. If I got I one, win. if I got one more card that matched, I would have beat you. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Right. You're true. lucky. I give you mercy. That's true. Okay. Who has the king? Okay, so I'm gonna raise here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Boom. I don't think you have a king, but I'm still gonna fold. Because whatever you have, it definitely you know what I have? beats my hand. You know what I have? When you say you don't have a king, I say, I don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, do you yeah. have a king or not have a king? No, no, no. I don't know what that means as far as this goes. Oh, it's a, it's a straight. Okay, I don't have that. Okay, what do you have? What do you have, Mr. Green? What do you have? I said I don't have shit. Well, even, like, even your high card would beat me. <laughs> You have a pair of queens. That's money. great. I'll bring me the money, please. <laughs> you made a dollar fifty. Oh, you made a dollar twenty-five. Yeah. Damn. I'm just some asshole. You're the poker goddess. I'm not a poker goddess. In our household, you are the, indeed the poker goddess. Well, I have watched you take out and slay famous YouTubers, as such as. Don't see, mention names. Hold on. No. Hold on. I can go all Stop night. Stop it. You heard about the? No. We got a big pot going on. Got a big old pot. What's, What's he like gonna do? Two and a half dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's yeah. only two dollars. Yeah, good. It's two dollars. Good, fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna raise. I'm gonna put down fifty cents there, pal. I'm gonna do it too. Same, same thing. What You're gonna it, call. What does it mean? Call. Call. Freedom and what? I had a high, but I had a high card. Dang, you had two pair? Good job, honey. Ooh. You got the big pot. Ooh, look at that Stole it. Pot. I'm getting wrecked. Uh, teacher is learning from uh, the student. Uh, the teacher is letting the student have so the much fun. The teacher is a good teacher. I know, I wish they were here during the teaching part. I know, you were very I was helpful, a very so. good teacher. You were very strategic, which is Thank great, you. Great. you know what? Uh, for the teacher. 
Oh my god, tip, thank you. Oh, I didn't yeah. need your pity money. No, yeah, yeah. I do need his little pity tip, money. I do need the pity money. <laughs> so if only they knew how much you taught me, but it's fine. But it's fine. You don't need to know the background. <laughs> yeah, they just need to know that I'm sucking ass right now, huh? <laughs> you're actually holding back and it's so pathetic. You're like, you literally have your arm hold, held behind your back to, to teach me, but it's fine. It's cute. At least I know that. That's okay. the thing about me is I know that. Ugh. I want your best lean on. Oh, okay. okay, give me your best on this hand, okay? Okay. Okay. Steve asked me to not hold back on this hand, and I got a full house. But it's okay. You folded. You folded early. You back. folded. Tuck, tuck, tuck which is some, nice. No, which is nice. So Listen. I got. I got the big stack, guys. When the you, big stack. When you. This is, this is a going for. Mm -hmm. When you punch somebody. Yeah. Tuck your fingers because you could really do some damage to their face. Mm. Or the orbital side. Okay, I'll keep that in mind next and time. You like fucking look at my over side. I'm so sorry. That's very sorry. Next is my first time. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, Painful. date night. Painful date night. Painful a lesson. I'm sorry lesson for your face. <laughs> Way too soon. Way too soon.